Dear Nastya, I promised myself I'd write to you soon. <laughs> I know you hate waiting. Business is going as usual. It's cold, and it's wet, and Denise cannot cook at all. But I'm comforted by the thought that I'll be able to see you again soon. Ever since we kicked the fascists out of Stalingrad, not a doubt has entered the minds of our soldiers that this will soon be over. I don't think Denis and I will have much left to do. How is father? What about my brother, Vadim? I want to ask about mother, too, but... You know. We had a mission today. The way it turned out shouldn't have been a surprise for anyone. But as I write, I can't say I was expecting it. Stalingrad, and... Well, I'm from Kharkov. And... Well, you're a man. <laughs> Looks like. And I'm a woman. And... Mm-hmm. What? Nothing. Anyway, look at the two of us. You're, uh, 22, I'm 18, you went to school and I'm just, uh, naturally smart and here we are, at the same place, and, uh, you're eating bread and I'm eating bread. And... What? Oh, nothing, I'm just bored. Danila, your sister's turning me into an idiot again. Nastya, either you stop or I'll shoot Dennis and you'll have to be the cook. Then I'll poison your food. Good morning, comrades. I was on the radio all morning with headquarters and we have new orders. With the fascist defeat at Stalingrad, we will be heading out to Kharkov. But I cannot go into any further detail. In the meantime, our unit is to take a German field post. The post positioning is a strategic blunder. The Germans don't realize how weakly defended it is. Or maybe they just do not recognize the advantage of our location. Perhaps. Either one is possible. It is a simple five kilometer march from here. According to the intelligence, there are two routes to that point. One road is covered by a machine gun nest. The other wide open. We follow that one. We will cross a bridge here and from that point surround the field post. I don't understand. Why don't we just take the machine gun nest? No. A shooting will be within earshot of the German position. We do not want to lose the element of surprise on this one. The field post is being expected by a German colonel. He is our true objective. We take him alive and we bring him back to our lines for interrogation. Interrogation about German forces in Kharkov. The planning of the battle depends on us. Does anyone here have any concerns before we move out? Yeah, Konstantin Palich. We're all out of vodka. Guess you Any other concerns? Nothing? It's simple. Cross the bridge, bypass the machine guns, and take the post with the colonel alive. I don't understand. There isn't even a wreck. Intelligence said it would be here. This was destroyed years ago. How old was the intelligence? Doesn't matter. Into the creek! Look lively now. Into the stream.
For God's sake, why don't you tell my sister how you feel about her already? I will. I will. It is your brother who gave me the courage to write this to you. I have always been able to count on you in battle and to cheer me up outside of combat. I talk to you about things I would never talk to anyone else on this earth about. I have written about you in almost every letter I have sent home. After all the terrible things to come out of this war, the death of my father and brother, the forced relocation of the rest of my family, the millions dead, you are my light in a dark window. I hope that after this horrendous war, you and I will be together. Guten Tag, Herr Leutnant. Ja, Ulf. How are things in your sector? Our patrols report that the Russians are as close as three kilometers. We are not sure of their whereabouts, but we are encountering increasing reconnaissance in force and scouts. It seems to me that the Russians are preparing for an attack. <laughs> that goes without saying, Leutnant. This is beautiful. The Germans are nested in the trees. If we sneak in from the rear, they'll have no defense. We should be able to accomplish this without firing a shot. Very well. Tell that to the man. All right, Admiral Ishii. We move in through the trees and we take them from behind. Don't shoot unless necessary. Use your knives. The colonel survives. Clear? Let's go. Not you. I need you to take up a position for sniper fire. But only shoot if necessary. Da. Good, then we have our prisoner. So what was your decision to make her a sniper? She is a good shot. We may have needed it. I understand. Don't tell the commissars. Igor! Grab the colonel, he's waking up. Dennis. We were all out. <laughs> Good. Danilo, grab some grenades and destroy the communication station. Uh, keep it down, will you? I have a headache. The Germans will think something. No! Ah! 
Germans must have set a trap with the grenades. How's your headache now, Untermensch? I miss your brother almost as much as you miss him. Today was terrible, but it is the first time I have been able to bring myself to tell you my feelings for you. As I said, it was thanks to Daniela that I am doing this. Five Germans, 160 meters. One That's it. Look out! Dennis! Let him go. You're free to get out of here. Go. Why are you letting him go? to shoot a prisoner. I love you, Bastia. I just wish I had the courage to tell you while you were still alive. I hope that by the end of this war, we are together again. <laughs> <laughs>